everybody welcome back to my channel it's Christine thank you so much for watching um, as you can see there's, my, there's a kitten behind the sewing machine um, she's getting big Ooh. there we go uh, so I finished three books this week the first one being the girl with all the gifts by MR Carey it was a little bit slow at first once things happened at the um, military base it started to pick up. I was kind of shocked at the ending. Um, yeah, and I don't want to give away too much. Um, zombies. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I I, I like the, the different spin on the zombies. Um, and I won't say what the spin is because it, you don't find out about it until, oh, I don't know, close to the end. So, but yeah, there are the regular zombies. Um, that are called hungries and they pretty much eat anything that moves you can't look them in the eye or else they'll chase you but they are they don't just roam they stand where they are unless they're chasing you and they have extreme speed and then there are the junkers that are people that choose to not go into the um like the military base they choose to live outside with the zombies um while covering their scents um, because pheromones is what causes them to run and then there are the children and the children not all of them the um but the children are highly intelligent and they are able to suppress um their hunger sometimes so that's pretty different that's not the spin on it though but um yeah so i i gave it a four um i didn't like the ending i liked it but yeah, you kind of are left, well, what happens now? So I think the next book is like a prequel to this one. It tells a story of something that happened before this one. So you kind of go into it knowing stuff that the P the characters don't know. So yeah, there's that. And then I read <laughs> Identical oops, by Ellen Hopkins. Um trigger warnings for just about everything in this book um there is drug abuse promiscuity infidelity um oh um i wouldn't say abandon well yeah it's abandonment um it's a story of two twins like a, tw a set of twin girls um Ryan and kaylin kaylin oh Kaylee and their parents had gotten in, well they all got into an accident when they were younger the kids were younger and the mother decided she wants to be a congresswoman so she leaves and does the political scene um, very rarely comes back when she does come back um, there is a lot of turmoil and hate um, their father is a piece of crap um, there's sexual abuse, there's um, incest, and I mean hardcore incest. Um, I had to read it in chunks because I had to keep putting it down. I just couldn't go forward with it um, because it was so um, heart-wrenching. I originally was going to give it a four and then I thought, no, it's a five because it's... Um, I don't get trigger warnings from books, but I think a lot of people would get trigger warnings from books, but I think... It could help um, by showing people what not to do. And I say that as a person who's gone through some of this stuff, that you really do need to tell people. You have to tell. You, um, in order to get out of the situation, no matter who you're going to piss off, you have to tell. Um, and unfortunately, she doesn't. And a lot of stuff happens. And I keep kept wanting to scream at her, get help, tell somebody. And it's just wow um so yeah if there's if you do get triggered by books for those specific stuff don't read it um but if you don't get triggered but you yeah it wow so five stars for that one and then i just finished um the bachelor stand and wife by susan crosby and i liked it i gave it a five um i don't normally give harlequins silhouettes whatever fives but this one was really good um even for 200 pages it was really good 
um, oh, Valerie is a single mom and needs to find a job because her boss, she refused her former boss's um, advances, so he turned around and fired her for sexual harassment. Um, the father of her daughter is not in the picture. She's had problems with his parents, um, but you don't find out exactly what until almost the end of the book. So she goes to try out for this job for this bachelor who needs an administrative assistant because he's constantly traveling. And she would be a live-in um, on the property, not in his house. And they agree to completely keep this strictly work only, you know, no socializing and whatever. But it's a romance story, so you know it's going to happen. But So she ends up living on the cottage behind his house. And it's cute. I, I really liked it. And yes, she had some trials and tribulations as a single mom, but she still kept her head and tried to keep her daughter happy, but without giving in to all her daughter's wants and need or not needs, all her wants and whims. Still keeping a firm hand with her, but playing with her and loving her and letting her be a kid and not trying to give her any stresses of real life or or the drama of real life and I think that's a great thing to do and not using her child to get back at the father or not using the child to get back at the grandparents um, she kept it strictly she's mom and that's it she never um, says anything bad about anybody near her daughter and I think that's the way people should be so yeah I gave it a five definitely a good read so currently I'm reading Capital Punishment, an indictment by a death row survivor by Billy Wayne Sinclair and Jody Sinclair. And it's a husband and wife um, duo. And it just goes over different um, um, forms of capital punishment uh, in the past and in the present. And it was written in 2008. Um, different ways of how things have been done, different reasons like the black and white issue. There's been more blacks executed for lesser charges than some of these white men and, and some women uh, and it's just like I'm sorry the US justice system sucks and so does Canada's um, I'm not saying Canada is perfect because we had an actual trial here a few years ago cat just got into something in the kitchen um, where three people killed tort or well, tortured killed and dismembered a man and none of them served more than two years um one of them actually said the drugs made me do it so he got like 18 months another man said well i'm an indian well, like a native american and he got less than two years he actually just got out and he's now being charged he got out in december the beginning of december and by the end of December, he's already got 24, 25 more charges laid on him. Drugs, um, guns, everything else. So, yeah, Canada's system sucks too. Um, but they just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. And that would happen in our city. So, anyways, um, yeah, it, it just goes to show that, um, as much as they say race doesn't play a part, it does. Unfortunately, um, more black people have been put to death than white people. And like I said, for lesser charges or, you know, for robbery. And yet a guy can, a white guy can maim, um, murder, torture, um, rape, and they get a slap on the wrist. A black person can steal a chocolate bar and they get put to death. Like, come on. So it's, it's just going through stuff like that, um, different problems that people have had with the death penalty, meaning um, they don't always work, uh, like people not dying right away or stuff like that. So it's interesting, but I read some of the reviews and they were saying that it's repetitive and yeah, it is. Um, he also has a book about his time in jail, which he wrote before this one. So I, I might eventually go and read that, but. So far, it's getting a little bit repetitive, but it's not a hard read, per se. So, we'll see. It's short. And, so this week, I was going to pick up 21 Stolen Kisses. I forget the author's name. 
can open it up. Uh, by Lauren Blakely, but there's only one copy for my library and seven people are waiting for it. So I doubt that's going to happen this month. So now I'm going to have to find out, find another book to replace that one for the Triple RC Challenge. And also another one. Um, but I will be picking up mm, Jacoby by William Ritter. And it's uh, historical YA um, investigator for the unexplained. So that's pretty much all I know about it. And then I had, I was going to pick up Warrior's Woman by Joanna Lindsay. But of course, my library doesn't have it. I haven't checked the library bookstore. Um, but these don't tend to stay on the shelves that much. Um, the other bookstore that I go to, they are completely sold out of Joanna Lindsay. So it's not going to happen. I'm not ordering it. So I chose to go with Brave the Wild Wind by Joanna Lindsay instead. And it's the challenge of... Um, one of the models on the front has to be half naked. <laughs> so, and I think that is it for this week. If I finish those two, then I will pick up um, Oblivion by Jennifer L. Armatrop. I think that's who it is. So, um, <laughs> cats get into stuff. Anyways, I think that's it. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I'll try and get to the comments today, but. I've been sewing, um, embroidering, you know, and yeah, um, last week I was, I think I said I had to book some plane tickets and they're all booked to pay for. So that's good. Now we just have to worry about the hotel and the train, which I'm pretty sure you can, that's not going to be a problem with that either. So I'm not going to say when I'm going, even though people are going to be here. Um, I'm just, I, I'm not going to say when I'm leaving my house. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I think that's it. <laughs> Hope everybody has an awesome day. Bye.